many people have had bread pudding before? Yes. I've had it, but I've never had like homemade bread pudding. Bread pudding is through the roof. But more importantly, have you had savory bread pudding before? Ooh. Not so much. Ooh. Well, today we're making a savory sausage and mushroom bread pudding. Nice. Heard me right. Awesome. Heard me right. What inspired this recipe? What inspired this recipe? I love stuffing. I love bread pudding. So I'm like, you know what? Why not bring the two together, the mm -hmm. best of both worlds? And uh, today we did that. Yes. All right. Yeah. Where do we start? A little kitchen it. science. All right. Yes. So first things first, you right. have your pan here. Uh -huh. You ground off some sausage. I prefer Bob Evans Farms. Really, really okay. good. I like a little spice in my life, so I use Italian in there. Uh -huh. And a little bit of spicy as well. All from right. there, you have the, the oil in there from the mm -hmm. sausage. You put some butter, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion. I don't know what it is about already. onion and garlic, but I could just eat best. that. The Me smell too. is just intoxicating. You should make a candle that's yes. just uh, uh, onions and garlic. Yes, a yes. line of onions and garlic, candles, and cologne. What do yeah. you think, Ben? Right. Can you back me? To Yankee Candle <laughs> Company. Yankee, Yankee, if you're listening, mm, make it happen. Onions and garlic. Yes. <laughs> so you have that going after you brown the sausage. You want to add some mushrooms. Mushroom. Okay. Yes. And Love with mushroom. the mushrooms, mushrooms absorb a lot of liquid. It's uh -huh. just regular. What kind of mushrooms are Those these? Those are little mini portobellas. So, okay. Kelly, oh, I'm going to have you go ahead and add some olive oil and wet oh. as well in there. How much? A little bit of olive oil. I'll tell you one. Glip, glip, Ooh. glip, 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 glip. Perfect. Right there. You go ahead and you All saute right. yes, that sir. for me. Ben? Yes, sir. A little salt bay action, please, sir. Just a pinch of salt in there. Yes, yeah, because you want to make sure to season this Whoops. at every step. Yeah, try it's to all keep good. It in the we need a bigger pot. It's cool. No worries. Hey, yeah. Make a little mess of fun. We move on. It's only I food. I need one of those candles it's you were talking food. about there so you people go. think that I'm yeah. cooking at home. So what you do is you saute, <laughs> you saute that for about seven to nine minutes. What you want to do is just caramelize the uh -huh. mushrooms, have them shrink down in size, and get real nice and tender. Okay. Yes. When you're done with that, you wind up with this right here. Uh -huh. All this goes to yes. Like yes. Fat, right? Oh yes. wow. Yes. Yeah. But I missed a step though. Oh. Before I do that, you want to add a little bit of chicken stock. Okay. All right. And you gonna let that reduce down because okay. pretty much you're trying to get the taste of one whole chicken into that small pan. And once that's done, you want to cool both the sausage. All right. And you want to cool the onions, garlic, and mushroom down to room temperature. Ben. Yes, sir. Come over here. All right. Come on. Okay. Come on, put you to work. Oh, good. Thanks. All right. What you have here good is work. you have some sliced bread and a little bit of sliced croissant, uh -huh. just chopped up into one-inch squares. Okay. You take that right there, sir. Yes. Kelly, I'm gonna have you assist him. All You're right. gonna go ahead, put the mushrooms in there. All right. There you go. Just dump it in there. Does Bam. the bread have to be stale? Uh, bread can be stale. It's great also for an after Thanksgiving side. Right. Uh -huh. You know, if you have extra rolls, extra bread, extra whatever, just reutilize yeah. that. That's why I like fresh bread. bread. Yeah. Works great as well. Yeah. No waste in our kitchen. Nothing's going to waste. Right. Nothing. Right. All right. And you ask it. Just going in. Go in. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that. Go ahead, yep. Oh. Sausage in there as well. And from, from there, you want to go ahead and add some cheddar cheese, because we don't like cheese. I know, I'm a bowl A little bit better. of Parmigiano Reggiano. Love it, love Toss it. that in there. Love the cheese. And a little bit of green, because you know, you got to be healthy. What is right. that? Somewhat. What is Just that? Just a little bit of parsley, oh, Italian okay. parsley chopped. All right. All right, so I'm going to have you go ahead. This okay. right here is the secret to the guns. You're you always asking some... me the secret, Ben. Yep. Is folding savory bread pudding. Oh, you terrific. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Is the cardigan ready? The cardigan will split. Are the, are the guns ready? Let's get up, I'm like, right, go ahead, pop out. Very carefully, oh, you want to keep it in there, Ben. Just Very like carefully, flip. gingerly, just a fold flip. everything gingerly in there. Gingerly yes. flips all the ingredients. Gingerly, yes. Yeah. There you go. All right, you're doing a great job. Oh, look. Round of applause for Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. yeah. All right. Looking good, sir. You folded a time or two before, haven't I you? I have. Yeah. I'm great at shirts, too, by the there way. There you go. Yeah. All right. And while Ben's doing this, I'm going to bring Kelly down here. What we want to do is make the base of this. OK. This is the custard base. You want to right. always have your custard base in the bread pudding. So here we have some eggs. And we also have a little bit of heavy cream. All right. All right. I'm going to have you put salt, pepper. Right. And if you like a little bit of heat, because you know, who doesn't like a little bit of heat in their life? Right. You know, a little right. bit of heat. Yeah. You know. You want to go toss it in there, then you want right. to whisk that together. Yes. So the custard base is going to have egg, and it's going to have, as well, cream or dairy. So Ben, okay, you so go ahead, you put all together. that in there. Okay. Before we put the bread pudding in there, we bread. actually use some melted butter, Ooh. or a pat of butter, about yeah. you know, a tablespoon. And you want to get it nice and greased all around the corner, so it provides for a nice release. 
Okay. Awesome. All right. Then you use that spatula. You go ahead and flatten all that out nice and even. All right. And then from there, Kelly, this you ready for the next step, Kelly? Yes, sir. All right. You we're going to go ahead it. and we're going to okay. pour all that. I don't know if I got that. that mixed up good enough. You Is got it looking right? good, darling. All right. Yeah, great. All right. There so we you go. pour all that pour evenly all, all over the bread pudding. Mmm. Nice. It already looks Can awesome. Can you smell that already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not even in the oven yet, and I'm already getting intoxicated yeah. at home. Beautiful. Totally, man. Totally. All right. All right. And you just take that spatula and just kind of flatten it down yeah. and just make sure all that goodness is spread evenly. Okay. So from here, uh, this is not a must for the recipe, but from here I like to put it in the fridge for about two to three hours uh -huh. to allow the bread to kind of soak up all that sauce oh, yeah. and that cream. All the flavor. And just really all the flavor. You got yes. I got you, baby. for the flavor. Flavor. Hot five for the flavor. Flavor. Yes. So you put that in the oven after you're done for letting that kind of soak and marinate. Preheated oven for 350. Let it go for about 45 minutes Our to 60 oven minutes. Here. Until it gets golden brown, but I forgot oh, the most yeah. important part. Ooh, Top it off cheese. more cheese. More cheese. More cheese. On top of that. Yeah. yeah. What makes cheese better? More, more cheese. cheese. <laughs> Mas you put cheese. that right. into the oven, 45 minutes to 60 minutes, nice golden brown. Wow. Bada bing. Beautiful. That is Bada awesome, man. Bada boom. Beautiful. And for my non meat eaters with beautiful, long, flowing blonde oh. locks, <laughs> you can make this vegetarian by omitting the sausage altogether or using vegan or vegetarian sausage. And instead of chicken stock, use vegetable stock. Nice. Right. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, David, to recreate this holiday favor. Find David's recipe on Pickler and Ben.com. Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs>